the given problem for the mathematical induction is 13 raised to n minus 4 raised to n is divisible by 9 for any integer that is n is greater or equal to 1. Hello, I'm Jean Silence and I'm gonna talk about the first step in mathematical induction, which is we're gonna verify that 13 raised to n minus 4 raised to n is divisible by 9 for any integer with n greater or equal to 1. We're gonna verify that the equation 13 raised to n minus 4 raised to n is divisible by 9. So our our n for today. So our n is 1 and we're gonna substitute it to the equation. 9 is equal to 13 raised to 1 minus 4 raised to 1 which is equal to 9 is equal to 13 minus 4. 13 minus 4 is equal to 9 and, and it is divisible by 9. We substitute our n which is 2 to the given equation. 13 raised to 2 minus 4 raised to 2. 9 is equal to 169 minus 16. Which is this equation. 13 raised to 2 is 169 and 4 raised to 2 is 16. 9 is equal to 169 minus 16 is 150. 9 is divisible by 100. Go! Hi guys, I'm Dave Sunsai and I'm going to discuss about the second step in mathematical induction, which is induction hypothesis. So in induction hypothesis, we will assume that every n is equal to k is true. So 9 is divisible by 13 raised to k minus 4 raised to k hypothesis. We will always remember that the the number B always being divisible should always have a random part. So just say uh, 9 cubed is equal to 13 raised to k minus 4 raised to k. To start with the proof of induction, we will change all k with k plus 1. So it will be 13 raised to k plus 1 minus 4 raised to k plus 1 divisible by 9. To separate 13 raised to k plus 1, it will be 13 times 13 raised to k. Because they have the same base. Same with 4 raised to k plus 1, it will be minus 4 times 4 raised to k. For us to be able to substitute 13 raised to k, we will go back to induction hypothesis with the given 9q is equal to 13 raised to k minus 4 raised to k. We will transpose negative 4, so it will be 13 raised to k is equal to 9q plus 4 raised to k. We will now substitute the new equation, which is 13 times 9q plus 4 raised to k. Then we'll just copy this negative 4 times 4 raised to k. We will multiply 13 and 9q, so it will be 117q. But we cannot multiply 13 to 4 raised to k, so it will be plus 13 times 4 raised to k. Then we'll just copy this again, so it will be minus 4 times 4 raised to k. Now, we're gonna combine like terms. 
we'll just copy 117 Q plus 13 times 4 raised to K minus 4 times 4 raised to K, it will be plus 9 times 4 raised to K. For it to be divisible by 9, we will divide it to 9. So it will be 9 times 13 Q plus 4 raised to K. Therefore, it is divisible by 9. Therefore, we conclude that certain raised to n minus 4 raised to n that is divisible by 9 is true to any n that is greater than or equal to 1. Don't you know the rumors? They talk about, talk about a young boy.